Praise the Lord, everybody. Would you stand with me this morning? It's going to be a wonderful day in the house of the Lord. I'm thankful for the presence of God and the touch of God that is here. The stage looks very different than it normally does, but it's church time. Look at someone and say, it's church time. Look at someone else and say, the presence of the Lord is already here. Y'all are wondering, where's all the kids at? We've got a wonderful, we got our own kids here right now to start with. There's going to be more kids coming in, I believe, in the name of Jesus. And so before they come in, would you raise your arms like apostolics and lift your voice like apostolics and give him glory and honor and praise. I bless you and I praise you and I thank you. You are the God of all power and the God of all might. And we give you glory and praise and honor. I pray that your presence that is already here would be loose to do whatever you desire. Let children's hearts be touched. Let them be filled with the Holy Ghost. Let the angel of the Lord protect them and keep them as they go through the school year. Anoint this Sunday school staff. Minister to the needs of every individual in this church today. In the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. Would you give him glory and honor and praise all over this house? Well, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. Oh, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap with joy. Well, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. Well, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. Well, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. Oh, if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap with joy. Well, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy. Well, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stomp your feet. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, well, let me see you leave the joy. Oh, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leave the joy. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands. Leave for joy, 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 leave for joy. Stop 
your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap with joy. Well, leap with joy, 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 leap with joy. People talk. People talk. Hallelujah. Do we have any adults? Do we have any transformed students that will show these children that you're not ashamed to praise the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. You're not ashamed to get out of your house and clap your hands and stomp your feet before the Lord. Wave your hands for joy. Leap for joy in the Holy Ghost. We're going to sing it again. Can we just praise Him just for a little bit? In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you clap your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you stop your feet. And if you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you wave your hands. If you're not ashamed to praise the Lord, let me see you leap with joy. Well, now clap your hands, stop your feet. Wave your hands, leap for joy, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap for joy, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap for joy, clap your hands, stomp your feet, wave your hands, leap for joy, leap for joy, leap for joy, leap for joy. before the Lord. Why don't you get out and get some space uh, and begin to twirl and dance uh, before the Almighty God today. Uh, well, won't you twirl and dance, twirl and dance, twirl and dance, twirl and dance, uh, twirl and dance, twirl and dance, twirl and dance.
lift your voice and give God the greatest praise. You've given him all day right now. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, would you give the Lord a great hand clap of praise today. And you may be seated on this Sunday morning. It feels good. In the house of the Lord, we welcome everyone to Phoenix Revival Center. Kids, back to school rally. It's going to be a blast today. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. We're going to take care of our prayer needs today, and then we are going to give you the schedule for the week, let you know what's going on. And we're going to turn this back over to Brother Danny Zazueta and Kid Tricity, and we're going to have kids' church today. Is that all right? I can't hear you. Is that all right today? We take our needs before God because we know that God is a healer. Amen. Last Sunday, we were praying for my son who was checking into a hospital room in Bangladesh with a lot of unknowns and uncertainties. But this church and people all over the world were praying. And this Sunday, he's on a plane trip to be back home tonight at 930. We pray because God heals. And so we have several needs we want to take before the Lord and we take with confidence I want to pray for Kayla Callahan, Arturo Chavez, Doug Weber, Marilyn Person, Vera, TJ Marlene, and Al Rivard. Brother David Abbott is not doing well at all. They don't expect him to last much longer, but we know he is ready to go. And so we pray for the family and pray the hand of peace of God be upon that elder and this family during this time. Amen. We also want to pray for Shay as he travels today. should be in around 930 tonight. If you have a need in your life, would you just lift your hand towards heaven right now? God knows exactly what that is. Would you lift your other hand and let's call on the name of the Lord right now and pray for these needs. Father, I love you and I thank you. We praise you, God, because you are a healer. You've done so many great things. We pray for every need we have called out to you today in the name of Jesus. Those that need healing, those that need strength, those that need peace and provision, I pray that you would do it. I pray especially for Brother Abbott today. Let the hand of God and peace of God be in that room that he is in. Let it minister to that entire family in the name of Jesus. Pray for traveling mercies and safety upon Shay and every need that is represented in this house today, God. I pray that you'd reach down and touch and minister to it in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and honor and praise and let the church say amen. In just a few moments, we're going to turn this back to Kid Tricity staff. We're going to have kids' church around here. Everyone, everyone in here has parents, so we're all kids. Is that all right? So we're all going to have fun as kids today. At the end of the service, we'll be giving the backpack supplies, drawings, and giving giveaways. Immediately after the kids' service this morning, please join us. There's a meal prepared directly across 21st Avenue in our fellowship hall. That's the building with the faux rock on it. And join us over there. There's a meal free of charge. We want to feed your family today and have a wonderful time connecting with you. So please join us over there. And then no service tonight because of all the activity going on today. There will be no service back here tonight. Wednesday, 7 o'clock, prayer and Bible study. Let's come and be in the house of the Lord. And then Friday and Saturday, in lieu of normal youth activities, is Connor's Boot Camp, which is a ministerial training experience in Tucson. If you are interested in attending that, please come talk to me so we can figure out if it's the right fit, the right mix for you. It's not just a open for everyone. So come meet with me and we will wade through if it's the right thing. Would you stand with me this morning? One of the ways we worship the Lord is in the giving of our tithes and offering. We're going to come and give of our tithes and offering unto the Lord. You can give electronically right over here to my, to my left, your right. You can also text to give if they're able to flash that up. If you have cash or, or check or coin, you can drop it in the offering pans. Let's come and give unto the Lord this morning.
tener que decir que Kids, how about you guys? This is for you. Oh, man, I can't wait to get this thing going. I can't wait to get this thing going. I just got to get my pep rally going. I need y'all to see my pep rally. <laughs> Let's do the pep rally. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Chill out. Look, you guys can just go ahead and take a seat. All right, young adults, you going to let these dogs feed you? Call you out to play a game. I hope you ain't embarrassed. <laughs> but we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna start off. Uh, we're gonna get our Sunday, Sunday school staff ladies up here, and they're gonna sing a song. I want everybody to join. All right. I'm a horrible dancer. I don't know moves, but even I'm gonna try. So, <laughs> if you can stand up for a few minutes and try, let's get into this. All right. Go ahead, brother. Hit it. Such a lot when you've got not a lot. Why be happy? I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my A lot when you got not a lot. Why be happy? What's up there, Johnny? How you doing? Pretty good. How about you? Oh, I'm doing good. Are you ready to have some Sunday school today? I'm always ready. What about you? Are, is the audience ready? Uh, it sounded kind of weak earlier, honestly. The kids were kind of uh, shy. Really? Yeah, what do we got to do to get them pepped up? Uh, how about we say that if we win a game, there's prizes involved, because I don't like being the winner. Who's ready for a game? Yeah. Oh, now y'all want to play. <laughs> now you're going to be excited. That's good. That's good. Let me uh, let me see. What game were we playing? Where's uh, where's uh, where's Moise? Uh, she's in the back. That's okay. I think we're gonna do the peanut butter game first. Who's down for getting peanut butter on their face? Yeah, me. I'm the only one, I guess. Two. You you in the hat? Come here, bro. What's your name? What is it? Abdiel. Abdiel. All right, but you don't mind peanut butter in the face? You you know allergies, right? He's not no peanut butter allergies for this kid. All right. I don't want to get in trouble. First day on the job, you know.
All right, but how about you just uh, go ahead and step right in the pool. Don't worry about taking off your shoes. It's all good. Oh, we need another. Oh, we need another peanut butter face. Oh, she dug down. <laughs> Smart move. You want peanut butter on your face? Oh, yeah, come down. Why don't you tell everybody what your name is? My name is Sybil. Sybil, all right, give it up for Sybil. All right, so I actually need two more people. But not for peanut butter in the face. This is the fun job. <laughs> Miss in the corner. <laughs> Thanks, Brother Luke. Let me tell you how to get to that. Go ahead. My name is Kayla. Kayla, all right, Kayla. Give everybody, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Brother Luke, you wanna, you wanna join too? Are you gonna help me out today? Yeah, You're, a, well, you don't have to touch the peanut butter. N not today. That's all good. Brother Jaden, come on up here, brother. Thirty feet. You got? Is he allergic? All right. All right. All right, here's the name of the game. Y'all got to put peanut butter on your face, number one. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's an exfoliant. It'll make the skin look good. All right, here's the object of the game. First one to get five marshmallows on a face is a winner. All right? So here we go. Brother Jaden, this is, this is the name of the game, right? We're going to give you... All right, here we go. It's the first one to get five on their face. That, that team's the winner, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Hey, you, you guys can move towards the marshmallows if you want. T take a step in, take a step in. Get a little closer. Oh, come on, crowd, get into it. Get into it, crowd, come on. Oh, he's got one. He's got one already. Brother Jaden, you're behind. Let's go. <laughs> a little harder. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt him. Go ahead. Just a little harder. Yeah, he got one. He got one. Good job. There you go. One, two, three. Oh, winner! Winner! Good job, bud. <laughs> yeah, you guys have peanut butter. You can go to this side to get it cleaned up. Pass the whole vacuum later, all right? <laughs> The teachers want to do it one more time. Everyone, everyone good to do it one more time? I need two more volunteers for peanut butter. You, my man, come up here. What's your name? Robert. Robert. Did I say that right, Robert? All right. Go ahead and have stand, stand in. Yeah, you. Blue shirt. What's your name? Ariana. Ariana. Come on, Ariana. Oh, you, you two want to try? Are you guys going to cheat and throw everything at once? Uh, all right, one at a time, both of you guys.
All right, who's on Team Robert today? Woo! Who's on Team Ariana today? Oh, let's try to get one more time for Robert. Here we go. Who's on Team Robert? <laughs> team Ariana. All right, hey, don't disappoint, guys. You got a lot of people on your side today. All right, Tad, don't let me down, bud. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Man, Tara, you play baseball? What's going on here, girl? Slow down. Woo. Ariana, are you trying to eat them? I thought I saw you open your mouth. There you go, he's got one. Oh, you guys are behind. Oh, how many you got? Oh, she got two. Oh, daddy is. He's got two. He's got, oh, he only got two. two. Oh, two and two, it's tied, let's go. Oh, no. Three? Three? Oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, he's got four. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, winner! Good job, Robert. Good job, bud. There you go. You can wipe all that mess off over there. Hey, if you want to eat it off your face, I'm okay with that, too. Everybody say hi to Johnny. Johnny, did you watch that? Did you see the see the winner? I saw everything. Who, who do you think was better, the girls or the boys out of that? Um, I think the girls were better. Oh, I thought you were a boy. You're a puppet. It doesn't count. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's take a little little break. Let's get let's get our legs moving, our blood pumping again. All right. Let's do one more. Let's do another action song. How about that? Yeah. Are you guys gonna help us this time? Everybody gonna help us? Yeah. All right. Oh, you you want to do raffles? Too. Sorry, I'm I'm jumping ahead of schedule, guys. That's that's my fault. All right. Wh which one are we raffling first? Four to seven. All right. If you guys came in and you signed in at the front door, uh, they probably put a name in your hat, and it's for a raffle. Okay, so we're gonna let Sister Monica. Okay. Go, what's Andrew McDermott, the McDermott. Oh, how to hear he is. to 12? All right, 8 to 12. All right, let's make sure I can read this time, huh? Let me see. Noah Lawrence. We got a Noah in the house? All right. <laughs> Noah, don't eat that candy till after church, all right? All right, we do, she, she left. Are we doing, can I go back to doing songs now? Or? All right. Are you guys ready to help us sing? Yeah. 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 
kids. Come on. I got, I got someone on the left over here saying yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right. Ready? Oh, you guys want to come up here and stand with us? <laughs> uh, I'm good with that. Let's do it. If you guys want to come up here and do it, maybe we can get some adults up here too. No, get that, that guilt trip didn't work. That's fine. It's, it's okay. Next time. <laughs> All right. If you want to hit it for us back there. I'm closer to you, but I feel like I'm so far away. Cause I love my fear, love my fear, get in front of my face. Hey Johnny, they're pretty good at all that dancing stuff, huh? Yep. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, think we need to see another song get them tired? No. Nah, I think we're good. I think they're feeling good enough. Uh, well, uh, I got the next order of business. Do you know what I'm supposed to be doing next? Uh, I think there's another game involved. Game. That's right. Thank you. We're getting kind of old, guys. I forget it all so fast. All right, I guess we're doing another game. Oh, that's right. This is the fun game. This is the adult game. Yes, that's right. All right, Brother Philip. Woo! All right, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. Uh, this is like a relay race type deal. So it's going to take a few laps around the building. I need you guys to get your energy out. You know, I don't want you guys getting all kind of yeah, wound up for before we start teaching, so I want you guys to be nice and loose, all right? Everybody good with that? Yeah. All right, Chad, hop up here, bud. He's going to demonstrate what you guys do during the relay race. And, uh, yeah, copy what he does. So for, first thing we're going to do is have him, and he's going to have three other people that he needs to tag hands on to. It's a relay race. So, Chad, go ahead and first he's going to run, so go ahead and take off Should I just pass her the mic or? I'll explain it. 
So he's going to first skip all the way to the back. When he gets to the corner, you have to spin in circles till you get to the other corner. And then you're going to hop, go under the limbo, and then tag your next player. And then the other person. Whatever team completes first wins, okay? So go. He's going to show you guys what he has, what you guys have to do. So you're going to skip all the way to the back. Then he has to spin in circles all the way to the other corner. Then he has to hop. <laughs> and then he has to go under the limbo. <laughs> keep hopping, keep hopping. Then he has to tag the next player, and then the next player goes. And whichever team finishes first wins. All right, who wants to participate? We're going to get four on each team. Taryn? You? Who else wants to help? Let's see if there's anybody in the back. You in the red shirt. Okay, come on, Taryn. Luke, are you going to play Luke? Okay, you can come up. Oh, we need some parents. Who wants to participate? <laughs> Come up over here. Oh, everyone's asking for your sister Ananaya to come up here. Okay, come on this side. Over here. Who else? Any volunteers? Any more volunteers? You, right there. You. You're going to go on that team over there, okay? Yes. Oh, yeah, we'll get her. You can cover it right here. Okay, so hold on. We have one, two, three, four. We have two adults. So we need two. One more. Oh, wait, we need another adult. Here, let's see who We need more adults. One more adult. All right, we got some limbo stick holders. We're good, right? All right. Nah, I can't say that. There's girls on both sides. All right. Te technical difficulties. Yeah, that's probably a smart move, not running in heels there, girl. Whew. All right, all right, here we go. We got Team Taryn right here on the left. And we got Team Kingston on the right. I think Team Kingston's gonna win this one, guys. I don't know, we'll see. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. On the count of three, one. Two, three. Luke, let's go, Luke. Uh oh, Luke. Let's make up some ground, Luke.
Look at David taking it all serious over there. Hey, Luke, just run, bud. Just run. Oh, Rihanna, you better make up some ground here, girl. Robertson to beat you. having fun so far? Is it because we're giving away free stuff or you genuinely like it here? Yeah, it's the free stuff. Speaking of free stuff, we're going to have another raffle. Yeah. All right. We need somebody to draw a name from a hat. It's not a hat. It's a, it's a bucket. It's my bad. That's right. <laughs> Di Diane Smith? We got Diane Smith around here? There you go, in the back. One, one more? One more. Here we go. One more. Did you have a cheese? <laughs> For the casein. Is everybody tired yet? Are we, you guys still wound up? Are we still, I mean, I know I'm tired, but it's because I haven't shut my mouth yet. But uh, is everyone good? Yeah. We can do one more song. Yeah. I, I, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like we give to the kids that showed up a little late to let them join in on the song. What do you guys think? Yeah? yeah? All right. But this time I want you kids like up and get into movements with us, all right? You guys good? Adults too, come on, let's get tired. We don't have church tonight, it's great, it's fine. All right, my bud, hey, you're up here to help, all right. Who else wants to come up? You guys can come up, come up to the altar. Come on up, y'all wanna, y'all wanna join us for a song? Let's go, stretch your legs, stretch your limbs, let's do it. Huh, no kids this time, huh? That's a good sign, you're getting tired. Whenever you're ready, bro. <laughs>
Is everyone tired now? All right. Now I got your attention. Good. Well, what about, what about you there, Johnny? You ready to go back to school? Honestly, not really. But you know what? School is where we learn and have fun. Yeah, yeah. So um, wh why aren't you ready to go back to school? Um, I'm not ready because I have an extra week off. How did you get an extra week off? That is, what? I just have an extra week off. That's pretty fair if I say so. Did anybody start school yet? No. I thought school was in really. session. All right, so what's the deal? Why do you have an extra week off? I think someone stole my week and I just didn't notice it. Man, don't you hate when that happens? The week just flies by. Sonic stole it? Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so, but I think you got to start school when everyone else does, and uh, that's probably Monday. Well, you know, I'm not like other kids. See, I'm what people call a purple reject. Uh, what? <laughs> you're not a reject, man. Come on, you're, you're just like, uh, you know, you're a little different. It's fine. Uh, We're all different. That's true. We are all different. So, so then you have to go back to school, just like everyone else. It's kind of the law, I think, right? You get you get in trouble if you don't go to school, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so you have to. <coughs> I just remembered. I've got a sore throat. He, he just got a sore throat. Well, you were the one singing with us and doing all the songs, so I don't think you have a sore throat. Uh, I think it happened last night. Yeah, I think that's it. I lost my voice, and plus, I was just lip singing. Yeah. <laughs> Lip singing, uh, yeah. I think all of us were lip singing, but um, no. That, that, yeah, you still, you still got to go back. That's not a good excuse. I know you're not sick. Uh, it was just your conscience speaking. My oh, my conscience is speaking. Am I am I speaking to myself right now? Nah, that that's not it. But I'm sorry. It's it's back to school for you. It's no good. I can't go. Well, why why can't you go? You know. Been feel, I've been feeling sick lately. It all started with that sore throat. Well, but you, we just said you don't have a sore throat. It was your conscious speaking. <laughs> yeah, you already said that too. And I know you don't have a sore throat because you're probably going to say like, oh, you, you took a shower and you got sick. But I know that's not true. You, you, you don't get sick that way, bud. Well, I've been having a temperature recently. Uh, let yeah, no. So that, you're you're cool as a cucumber there, sir. That's that's not accurate. I may not feel hot, but just look at me. I look hot, don't I? I mean, look at my color. It looks fine. Your hair's a little strange. That that's normal. No, no, I can't go to school. All right, there's got to be a really good reason as to why you can't go to school, bud. What is it? I'm not allowed. Oh, why aren't you allowed to go to school? I'm not. I've got, well, you know. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I can't. It's rude. You told me not to say bad words. Uh, all right, whisper it to me then. Are you sure? Yeah, I will. I'm sure. You don't like school. Okay. See, the thing is, I did, have did, kids. Um, I'm sorry, what word was that? What do you got? Nits. Nits? What are nits? What? Nits. N I T S. Nits. Like in your hair. Oh, it's like nits. Oh, of, co of course. N no, you don't. I took you a shower. I checked your hair. You got nothing. You're, that's a lame excuse. Well, you really got to go to school, bud. They're, they're microscopic. You need a, it's a new breed. You have to have a special telescope to look for it. They're tiny little things you can't see with your eyes. Again, it's your conscience speaking. Uh, okay, I see. I see what's going on here. He says something, something's going on with you there, Johnny. I, I don't, 
I think you just keep making up excuses. So uh, you want to tell us what's really going on? It's, I know what it is. It was that thing from last year, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I have a heartache. You have a, you have a, what's a heartache? It's pain right here. Oh, heartache. I see. Like a headache. No, no, no. A heartache. So, so your heart, heart broken? Yeah. Is this from a that? Heartache. Uh, all right, I, I, I know, I know what this is stemming from, guys. I, I, I get it. He's, so, so brother Johnny had a, brother J Johnny had a hard time last year, in school, um, and we kind of talked about it for a while, and, and, uh, and I kind of gave him a bit of advice about, about having some power, that, is from somewhere special, somewhere that comes out of the heart, but, that power is, is more like a gift. A gift that God gives you. So, um, before I get into that story, let me, let's just, how about we all stand and let's just, let's just pray for a minute. And I want to pray for the rest of our service today. And I want to pray that God opens up our hearts and he speaks to us today. Because I feel like God has a word for all of you guys that are going back to school. All right. There's going to be some things that you go through in school that you're going to have to take a stand for. And it's not always easy to do what's right and wrong, but let me tell you the story after, after we pray. So if you guys can, just stand with me. You can bow your heads, or you can close your eyes, or you can lift your head and, and, and pray. But let's just pray that God uh, gives us some understanding, and he opens up our mind and our hearts and our spirits through his word, okay? So let's just do that for the next few minutes, and, uh, and then I'll tell you guys a, a, a pretty cool story, all right? That sound sound like a good deal? Yeah. All right. Y'all gonna pray or? <laughs> All right. Seriously, Heavenly Father, thank you. We we come before you today, God. We we believe in you, Jesus, and we ask that you open up our hearts and our minds and our spirits to your word, God. Let let your word come in our heart and let us let it not depart from us, God. Let us keep it with us for as long as we can remember, God. We thank you in advance for all you're going to do in the service today, God. And we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, last year Johnny had a, a bit of a hard time and, and maybe he forgot. So, that's okay. I'll tell the story again. Um, it's a story that I, I, I personally like it in the Bible. Um, it's probably one of my favorite stories that I like to tell children. Um, because the people in this Bible... You know, they're, the, the people in the Bible story there, um, they weren't very powerful like kings. And, and they didn't have a whole lot to um, offer in the word of God that, that, you know, that made them miraculous healers or anything like that. They were just, just three guys, right? Just three kind of ordinary guys. And so we'll kind of back up a little bit and I'll tell you a story about a, a really bad king. Well, this king, he was a, a king over, over Judah and he was pretty bad. The Bible says that he was an evil king, right? And so because he was an evil king, um, God decided to, to give away, his, give away his, his kingdom. God said, you know what? I'm going to give your kingdom to Nebuchadnezzar. That's what he did. God took it from him and gave it away. The Bible says he gave it away. It's kind of interesting. It's a, a, a different lesson for another time. But regardless, this guy, this Nebuchadnezzar guy comes in and he takes, takes the kingdom and he decides that, okay, what am I going to do? I need, I need to be able to interpret. I need, I need to be able to, to, to connect with the people um, that I just took over the land from, right? So, so he goes and he, and he has his, his officers go and, and, and select a few guys for him. A few, a few guys, some guys that were smart, you know, they, they can interpret language. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, and they were, you know, probably good looking guys or, you know, whatever that effect is. And so... They go, and, and these officers, they pick, they pick four guys, but we're going to talk about three of them. Uh, one was named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You guys, you guys know that story? If you don't know that story, raise your hand. If you don't, that's okay. Good. That's what I'm telling it for. All right. So <clears throat> three guys, right? They get taken into the, to the palace, if you will, and they get to be taught, and they learn, and they... And they get to go, grow and kind of mature as they get older. 
uh, the, you know, they, the Bible says that they started to, to kind of advance, right? They get, they get to be really smart and, and they learn. And what ends up happening over time is, what happens over time is King Nebuchadnezzar um, builds this huge statue, big, big statue, probably 90 feet tall, right? So you're talking way past this roof, right? A huge, big statue. And Nebuchadnezzar says, you know, all these people are going to worship this, this statue. When I start playing my music, everyone's going to bow down and worship it. And if they don't, you know, he kind of just left it at that. And uh, so, you know, they start playing their big musical instruments. And everybody in the kingdom decides that they're going to bow down. Except for three people. You want to guess who they were? That's right, my man. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Why didn't they bow down? Yes, sir. Right? They said, I don't want to, I don't want to bow down to your, to your God. I don't, want to, I don't want to have to do what you're asking me to do because I worship only one God. Right? I only worship one God. I believe that there is only one God. And so they have a couple of little what we call snitches. You guys know what snitches are? What's a snitch? Not your sister. <laughs> That's right. It's a tattletale, huh? You got a little tattletale in the back. He's like, eh, uh, king, he doesn't want to bow down and worship. Right? And the king's like, what do you mean he doesn't want to worship? I built this big old statue. It cost me millions of dollars. Of course he's going to bow down. Why don't you bring those knuckleheads over to me? And so then the snitch is like, all right, let's go get him. And, and he runs by and, and he grabs grabs these three people. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> and he, he grabs these three guys and, and he tells them, hey, I built this big old huge statue. It cost me millions of dollars and I poured all this time and resources and I made it for you guys and you don't want to bow? I need you to. That's what I built it for. All right, so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to play some music, and i give you guys another opportunity to bow down or else. You know, that's not too far off of what they said, right? Let me slow that back down just a little bit. So you children are going to go to school, and you might have to do things that you don't want to do, not because... Do we have teachers in the class? Do we have teachers in here? Good. So you might have some things that the teachers are going to ask you to do or do, but it's not the will of God to do it. Does that make sense? You're going to be asked to do things that you know in your heart of hearts that you have committed to God that you are not going to do. And you might have that pressure put on you. Yeah, you, you're going to do it. You're, you have to. I told you, right? They don't physically touch you in school. I hope not. If they do, you better tell your parents. And if your parents don't do anything, then uh, you come talk to me. I got your back, all right? So there's going to be pressure that's put on you. And it may not be a teacher. It could be uh, your classmate, right? You have friends at school. He might be like, hey, dude, come on, let's go. Jump that kid for some lunch money, bro. I'm hungry. <laughs> right? What are you going to tell him? I'm going to tell him, no, I don't want to do it. All right, my man. <laughs> I like Brother Luke right here. He's going to get the Holy Ghost today. I already know. Uh, yeah, so you're going to have those weird pressures where people are going to want to tell you to do stuff, and, you, and you've got to be able to take that stand, just like, like these three boys. So these three boys, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar, let's jump back into our story. He says, you guys are going to bow down or else. Well, I'm the king, so you have to. No. So, so they, didn't, they didn't tell him or else what. What, what they did tell him, though, was, and, and I'm paraphrasing, okay? This is not in the Bible. He says, they basically say, hey, do what you got to do. I know my guy got my back. That's what they said. And the king said, fine. Have it your way. 
right? And he gets mad. Where are my servants? And he goes and he grabs three. Tie their arms to their backs. Tie their backs up. You, turn that fire up higher. We're going to throw them in the furnace. And you know what these guys did? They grabbed them. They wrapped their arms. And they took them over here. Yeah, yeah, come over here. Hey, rub them up a little bit. All right, that's good. So they go, and they throw them inside the furnace. Push them. Push them in the furnace. You know what the Bible says? Unfortunately, some of these guys died too. It was too hot. Fall on the floor. Yeah, fall on the floor. So they, they actually burned. That's how hot the fire was. The Bible says that it was turned up seven times hotter than normal. So you figure they're just walking up and they're just like, oh, they died. Hey. But now my Hebrew boys, Hebrew boys, stand up. Yeah, you go ahead, stand up. These guys, were, these guys were cool. They were good. They're having a good time. They're, I can just, I just picture me, hey, bro, these guys are all dead today. We found them. We found them. You know what I mean? Like, and there was another guy that kind of showed up with them, so there was actually four in the fire. I thought you were king. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, you were I was king, but now I've got to step aside. <laughs> Tower. And so they're like, hey, brother Luke, you good? Here, let me fix that tap for you. All right. <laughs> hey, was it hot outside today? Or was it? No, this is a good day, right? So, yeah. so they're having a good time, right? And King Nebuchadnezzar, he's, he's up in his tower. And he doesn't hear no crying, no whimpering. Well, it's awfully quiet over there for being a furnace. Maybe they just burnt up that fast. No. So he takes a look. Sure enough, he sees four people in there. And he's astonished. What? Four people? What? I thought I threw three people in the fire. And, and so he sends, turns that heat down a little bit, yeah? sends for them, calls for them over. Come on over. You, you, three, you three jailers, you guys can go. You guys can go ahead and have a seat again. Thank you. But not my Hebrew boys. I need you guys back over here. Right? And these guys, because they stood up for what they believed in, God protected them. You see? He kept them safe, even in a fire. You saw those three guys die, right? Because it was so hot. These guys come out and Nebuchadnezzar takes a smell. It smells good. He took a shower today. Yeah. Took a smell and he's like, hmm, you don't smell like smoke. Yeah, your hat's okay. No rips on your clothes. I can't believe this. These guys are... We threw him in the fire. And not even a singe of their hair, right? You still got two eyebrows? Yeah? Little goatee going on there? Yeah, it's fine. And he put out a decree saying, you know what? From now on, their God is a God of all gods, right? He said, nobody touch these guys anymore. Nobody. You see, God put the hand, his hand of protection upon these guys. You guys have a seat. He put his hand of protection upon them because they were faithful to God. And God showed his faithfulness to them. Does that make sense? And so when you are faithful to God and you believe in God and you worship God, he gives you an awesome power, right? And we have that power today. You guys know what that power is called? It's the Holy Ghost. How many of you guys got the Holy Ghost? Yeah, you guys got the Holy Ghost? How many of you guys want the Holy Ghost? How many of your parents, your kids need the Holy Ghost? Yeah, I know my kids do. And I need the Holy Ghost when my kids don't have the Holy Ghost. You know, but, but look, that's why we come to church. Because we want that power, right? The power that is given unto you, right? And, and so Jesus came and he died on the cross and he was leaving his disciples. They're, they're kind of sad about it. They were about, he was about to ascend into heaven. They're like, they're like Jesus, I thought, I thought that's what you came for. I thought you were here to be a king, right? And so they thought in their mind that Jesus was going to be a, a worldly king. And he said, no, 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 that's not it. I'm not, I'm not going to show you my power. I'm not going to take over a kingdom, an earthly kingdom. What I'm going to do is I will give you power, right? Acts chapter 1, you guys, on your own time, go ahead and look at it, right? So he gives them power and that power so that way they can go out and they can stand up to peer pressure to, to bullies, 
they can, but they can also stand up and have God in their heart, right? And the power to heal and the power to, to discern, right? And, and those are the, the awesome powers that God gives you when he gives you the Holy Ghost, right? And so, so I want you guys to kind of keep that in your, in your mind as you go through the school year, right? This is all fun and games and we're having a good time and it's a really safe place here in church. But what are we going to do when we're not in church? Right? That's the decision that we have to make as, as kids, but also as adults, right? When I go to work every day, I step out of my house, I step out of my sanctuary, and I have to deal with different people that come at me, and they don't believe like I believe, right? They don't think the way I think, they don't talk the way I talk, they don't see the way I see, right? They don't speak the way I speak or nothing like that, right? And so every day, I got to be faithful to God, and God will be faithful to me. Does that make sense? You guys got that? How many of you guys want the power of God? Yeah? How many of you guys want the Holy Ghost? I'll tell you what, when you're going through school, the Holy Ghost makes it a whole lot easier, right? Because that it, it's that little small voice you hear in the head that says, hey, Johnny, don't be doing that. That's not a good idea, bud, Right? You guys want that for yourselves? I want that for you, right? And so here, here's a really interesting story that I, that I was reading in the book of Acts, right? And I'm going to say this to you kids because I wholeheartedly believe it, right? Because the power of God is not just, for, not just for the adults. It's not, right? So on the day of Pentecost, uh, you, you see Peter up there praying, and he's, and he's praying for all the people, and then they... You know, he comes out of the, the room of 120. That, so Peter comes out of the room of 120, starts preaching to all the people. The Bible is very specific that it says that it added 3,000 souls that day, right? It talks about how 3,000 people were saved. But it was funny because it says souls. So in my head, it didn't say men. It didn't say women. It didn't say children. It said souls. How many of you guys have a soul? Everybody in here, right? So when the Bible says that, 3,000 souls were added to the church, I have to assume that it meant kids because you guys all have a soul. Yeah? Does everyone believe that? So if you believe it, believe it, then that means that you believe in God. If you believe in God, then that means that he's probably going to give you, not probably, he will. He will bless you with the Holy Ghost. You guys know what the Holy Ghost is? You know what it is? What is it? The Spirit of God in you, right? Yeah, we all got to have it. It's very important, especially if you guys want to have a good year at school, I, I think, right? So I'm going to tell you what. We'll let our little musicians come up and just play something softly. I want, I want all of my teachers to kind of line up right here in the front. And what I want to do is I want you guys to, to pray, right? This is a new year, a new school year. I want to send you guys off the right way, okay? I want you guys to be filled with the Spirit of God, and I want you guys to be able to go and be able to have a good time at school and not worry about the pressures in life. And you know what? If there are pressures in life, then you could just come right back up here, right back to the altar. And you know what God will do? He'll give you a little bit more of that, a little bit more of that Holy Ghost, just a little bit more to get you through, okay? And every time you feel bad, every time you feel sad or you feel depressed or man, I don't want to do this, and it's, it's hard. I want you to remember, you know what? I can go back to church, and that's where I'll get my touch. That's where I'm going to get my refill. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to get the Holy Ghost all over again, and God's going to work in you, and he's going to fill you up like a little cup, and he's going to fill you to the brim and send you back out, and you got to go back out there and do it again, right? But every opportunity you have, you can keep coming right back to church. And you know what? See all these people here? We all love you. We don't know you but we love you, and we're here for you guys, and what we want is for you guys to someday be where we are, you know, and do what we're doing, and loving and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Does that make sense? So, if you guys want the Holy Ghost, I want you to come up here first. If you, if you, if you already have the Holy Ghost, I want you guys to help us pray with the people that don't have the Holy Ghost, and that goes for adults as well. This is a children's service, but you all still need the Holy Ghost as well. So 
If you guys want to come up and get touched, if you guys want to get prayed for, let us pray for you. Right? The, the Bible says that Jesus came not to condemn the world, but to save the world. And we're just trying to be vessels of, his, of, of Jesus and, and help save, save as many of us as we can. Right? And so I ask all of you guys to stand up. And before you come and pray for the Holy Ghost, I think we ought to repent. Right? Because the Bible says first, in order to receive the Holy Ghost, you must repent. And then you can receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah, you get baptized, but let's, let's focus on, on Holy Ghost and let's focus on repentance. And, and so how many of you children know how to repent? Do you guys know what it means to repent? It means to, it means to turn away. Turn away from your wicked ways, right? I was walking this way and I turned around and now I'm going, I'm going this way. And I'm not looking back, right? And so the way you repent is to say, God, I'm sorry for all the things that I've done, that I've said, that I've heard, that I've seen. I'm sorry. And you know what? You know what God will do? God will listen and he will forgive you. And as soon as he forgives you, I want you guys to start thanking him for forgiving you. And then once you get past thanking him, I want you guys to worship him. Does that make sense? Do you guys know what it means to worship? It means to say hallelujah, right? God is the highest praise, right? I love you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus only, right? That is to worship. So let's first repent. <clears throat> All of us will, will repent now. And then when, when we're done repenting, let's come up. Pray with one of our gals here. Pastor, if you want to help us or have the ministers come and, and let's just lay our hands on these children and, and, and pray them through, all right? Jesus, I love you, Jesus, God. I'm sorry, Lord God, for all the things that I've done, Lord God, all the things that I've said and all of the things that are harbored in my heart, Lord. Forgive me, God, of my sin. I just want to be pure and holy for you, Jesus, God, so that you are able to come into my heart, Lord. Forgive all the things that I've seen. Forgive all the things that I've said, all the things that I've heard, Lord God. Oh, God, I just want to come before you, Lord, and I want to worship you, Jesus. And you know what? Begin to thank him. And as you thank him, I want you to come up, and, and I want you to pray, and I want you to start to begin to worship. So, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, Lord God, for forgiving me of my sin, Lord God. Oh, you're an awesome God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord God. I can't do this without you, Lord. I need you in our li my life, Lord God. Touch me where I am, Lord God. I pray in Jesus, oh Lord God. Come on. Come to the altar, guys. Come and pray.